Parents meet with school officials over a clothing controversy and come to an understanding. And this trouble began when two Gateway students were sent home because they were wearing traditional Arab headdress. Channel 11 News reporter and anchor Darian Chisholm live in the newsroom with today's new developments. Darian? David, a prominent national Islamic civil rights group, school leaders and parents met this morning and they all have agreed Muslim high school students at Get Gateway can now wear their kathiyas. For the past few years, kids have been calling us terrorists for wearing like garments like the scarf. Mohammed Shoman can remember when racial tensions began to stir at Gateway High School. It had been what he called tolerable until an article surfaced in a local paper written allegedly by a Jewish student. They were labeling the Muslim students who came with the scarves as terrorists. So uh, um, the misconception grew into such, you know, proportions that the principal had to put a stop to the students wearing the scarves. And that's when it got worse. One of my friends, he made a very stupid decision to wear a shirt that says rest in peace Israel. And uh, I guess everything blew out of from there. Muslim students were banned from wearing the traditional kafiyas until school leaders, parents and members of the group CARE, Council for American Islamic Relations, met this morning. They will be permitted, the Muslim students will be permitted to wear their scarves in class. And for some, this experience in racial and ethnic differences has served as a true educational experience. That the scarf does not signify terrorism. It is not representing Hamas. And it is not disrupting the educational process or the learning process. And it's a very peaceful piece of garment. A meeting between Muslim and Jewish students is also scheduled to help them talk about any other issues they may have. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Darius Chisholm, Channel 11 News.